Hi, I'm Zoe. I work here, I'm a sales associate. I bounce around from both the apothecary side to the shop side fragrance where I am now. And I love it. We're gonna do a fragrance consultation today. My name is Anna and I am here to do a fragrance consult today. Depending on the description that somebody gives me, I like to leave it as open and as authentic as possible. I don't need any jargon, any fragrance jargon, just kind of a place, person, a memory. I mean, it can be anything. And that helps me a lot with tying it into the stuff that I know from what's on the wall. And then I go from there. I like to give three options, slightly different routes depending on each fragrance, and then it helps me elaborate. And it doesn't overwhelm from the get-go. Is there anything that you currently wear that you really love? Mm -hmm. Any sort of smell, memory, place? So I really like warm scents. Mm -hmm. Like, I really like the note of patchouli, but I feel like on my skin, patchouli is like <laughs> way too bright. I like Chanel Mademoiselle, Coco Mademoiselle Intense, the intense one, not the regular one. The other one is like too sharp. Mm -hmm. um, Chanel Coromandel, I like as well. Things that are just like close to the body, warm. What do you mean when you say warm? Because like, there's a lot of different places totally. that that can go. Cozy, spicy kind of sensual, mm -hmm. but not like aggressively in your face. Okay. This is gonna be the lightest of the three, but very much that like warm sunshine. Mm. You can like really see where you're going with this one, mm -hmm. but it just is like too green, too... Green is like the, the word yeah. that keeps coming to mind. It's, like, it's fresh. Like a, it's like yeah. a fresh, like springy sunshine yeah. thing, which that is very, very helpful. <laughs> Next, we got moon milk. This is very much what you were describing to me. I hope it translates. Oh wow, this one is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has like a like a sexiness, like a complexity mm -hmm. to totally. it. It's also a really cool bottle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, will I know say. that always helps. The packaging is always very helpful with fragrance. <laughs> Okay, this is a good direction. Yeah. Is there anything that you think it's missing or something more that you want from it? I know I kind of hated like super sweet stuff, mm -hmm. but there is like a sweet missing from it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, nice. So this one is gonna be, this is gonna have a lot more amber than the previous one. Okay, honestly, like if you took this one and this one and put them together, like Love I it. think yeah. the amber would really complement that. And mm -hmm. this is like just a little, it has like a one note read to me. Mm. If I could marry these two, I would, but that would involve breaking some glass, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> so I'll grab you a couple more. We'll see where that goes. And it's just kind of like a narrowing down mm -hmm. process. These two married mm -hmm. and kind of amped up. This has a lot of, like, I don't know. I think of this one as like being very sexy. It has a lot of sex appeal. That's really nice. <laughs> that is a really nice yeah. scent. It's like, has this like, brightness, but not in an aggressive way, like mm -hmm. right away. And then there's something really warm and sexy right yeah. after that. Yeah. This one, I definitely want to see how it sits. Yes. Because this has like high potential. Yeah, this yeah. is a good one to spray on, on yourself mm -hmm. too, because all of these are going to translate differently on your yep. skin, which is really important. Oh my gosh, it's like so warm it's and so, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Revisit these two. I just am pulling out one okay. at the moment. They're similar. Maybe if I had smelled this one first, it like mm -hmm. just pales in comparison to this one <laughs> yeah. because it doesn't have as much mm -hmm. going on. It still smells like so good. Like I yeah. feel like I'll keep going. Yeah. I don't think anything is missing from either of these, mm -hmm. honestly. I think that if we like stopped right now, I'd be like, this was a really good consult. I mean, these are both great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So the two final candidates that we have for Anna are Moon Milk by Store Scugan. It's fantastic, well-loved for a good reason. And DS, it's one of the fragrances by DS and Durga. They have a lot of similarities to them. Storis Guggen, DS and Durga. Sweden and Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> that was super fun. I felt like Zoe really listened to me and kind of heard the stuff I liked, suggested some cool stuff that I didn't know, I hadn't tried before. And then it was just like so no pressure. Like I feel very comfortable leaving with these on my wrists and then coming back, I'm sure, to get I don't know which one, but it was really fun. A lot of people feel very sure of what they want and that's awesome. They wanna get it right then and there, amazing. You get a sample with each full size fragrance that you buy, which gives you a few days, a week, however long you need to try it out before you crack open the box just because we don't do returns after 30 days if it's opened. Always gotta leave that as a disclaimer. But with you spraying that, on yourself, it gives you time if you aren't if you're making that final decision, wearing it throughout the day, seeing how it wears, how it ages, how it transforms, which can really help with that final decision, either swaying you in one way or another. So it's been a couple weeks. I wore the fragrance, wore it for a couple days. It is 
fantastic and I'm here to buy it. The first day that I wore it, I actually went to a conference and then I went out to an anniversary dinner with my husband and it was perfect for both. Subtle against my skin, but still really sexy and warm and just felt great to wear. So now I'm here back again to buy it. Hands down, the best fragrance from everything that I tested was DS by DS and Durga. I had a feeling that the DS was going to work out because of that like sexiness that you were talking about, but what was the moment that you realized it was perfect? It was actually it was in the car, mm -hmm. like right away. You know, you had told me like try it out. I tr like trust me, it's gonna smell better in like mm -hmm. 20 minutes. You're oh, gonna yeah. love it. Yeah. And I swear, it must have been like the 20 minute mark. I smell my wrist. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. this is perfect. And I just couldn't stop smelling it, and I was mm -hmm. kind of annoying and like yeah. making everybody smell my wrist because it smelled so good. Yeah. And then I read some of the backstory about it and about the brand, so I didn't mm -hmm. really know Diaz and Durga. Yeah. And really just like loved the genesis of the perfume, and that kind of sold me 100%. Yeah. And you were all set. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too. <laughs>